Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jihan Akila, and I'm honored to talk about this topic, the, the influence of gamification on grammar mastery on young Indonesian EFL classrooms. As we all recognize, the lecturers here are well-versed in research methodology and its approaches. As far as I was concerned, by the knowledge about research methodology delivered by the lecturer in class, there are qualitative and quantitative methods, and they have differences. The qualitative method is used to explore and understand the meanings individuals or group ascribe to a social human problem, focusing on underlying reasons, opinions, and motivations. It uses open-ended data, small sample sizes, and subjective analysis. In contrast, the quantitative method collects and analyzes numerical data to describe characteristics, find correlation, or test hypotheses using statistical, mathematical, or computational techniques. It uses large sample sizes and can generalize findings. However, my research uses qualitative methodology to focus on participants, perspective, and experiences. I believe that all of you have a broad understanding of the method that I use. Nevertheless, I would like to clarify the reasons behind it. The qualitative method is preferred due to its cap due to its adaptability and capacity to record subjective interpretations and real life experiences. By integrating this method, it can provide valuable insights into effective language learning strategies. It provides a detailed understanding of the influence of gamification on grammar mastery in the Indonesian EFL classrooms. Your input and insights will be very valuable to me. Thank you for your attention.